Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with y'all how I make my apple cinnamon bread. Fall is here and we have some wonderful apples that we have gotten off of our apple tree. I cannot wait to share this very simple recipe to make some wonderful apple cinnamon bread. You ready? Let's get started. So first I have a half a cup of light brown sugar and also to that we're going to be adding some cinnamon and I'm going to be putting in two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're a returner, welcome back. My name is Devon, and on my channel, I share with you what I like to cook and bake for my family, my kitchen. I share recipes with you, a story or two. I share different things that I have learned over the years from watching my mom and my aunties in the kitchen. They were excellent cooks, excellent bakers, and all that knowledge that I got a chance to watch firsthand it is my pleasure to share with all of y'all. So this is our brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get together our dry ingredients. And our dry ingredients, I'm using some unbleached all-purpose flour. And when I get my flour, you see how I'm kind of shaking it a bit? You want to make sure that your flour is not compacting into your uh, measuring cup because if so sometimes you can over measure so either you want to make sure that you're just kind of shaking it make it nice and light or either you can spoon your flour in into your measuring um, cup so next I'm putting in some baking powder and I'm putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder now in the description box below, I will have a list of all the ingredients you need to make this excellent, wonderful apple cinnamon bread. But what I'm sharing with you is how you take those ingredients and put them all together. Now also in my bowl, I also put some salt and that was a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I used a wire whisk, but you can use a wire whisk or a fork just to kind of blend all of those dry ingredients together. Now I'm going to share with you the different types of apples that you want to use for your apple cinnamon bread. I'm using a Golden Delicious and these are the apples that have come off of our tree in the backyard. Do you see how big this apple is? I'm so proud of our harvest this year for our apples. So I'm using Golden Delicious, but you can use Golden Delicious. You can use Granny Smith. Um, some people use Gala. You can use Honeycrisp. Um, a baking apple is really good. So any kind of the baking apples are really good, but I would definitely recommend using the Golden Delicious like I'm using or either the um, Granny Smith are really good. Jana Gold apples are also really good in this as well. And so just go on ahead and with the apples, because I have a large apple, it's pretty large, about the size of like a softball really. I'm only going to be using one, but if your apples are more on the medium side, then definitely use two. You want to make sure that you've peeled them and you also want to cut them like this. You see how I've uh, sliced my apples just um, maybe about an inch long and a thickness of about an eighth of an inch about a quarter of an inch not too thick and so you want to just use your apples and then put those aside once you've kind of sliced them then we have some unsalted butter that I'm using and I'm using some unsalted softened butter you want your butter nice and soft and to our butter we're going to be adding some granulated sugar and we're using two-thirds cup of granulated sugar now this is considered a quick bread um, quick breads like the apple cinnamon bread that I'm making today Banana bread is a quick bread. Zucchini bread is a quick bread. And quick breads, the reason why they're quick breads is because we're using a baking powder or baking soda as a leveling ingredient. And so it's not, um, you don't need yeast to make these breads. So they whip up really quickly, really easily. And that's why they're called quick breads. And so this is what we have. And also something else that's a quick bread as well is biscuits are also in the quick bread family. Um, that's another quick bread as well. And so there's different types, but we are going to be making this apple cinnamon quick bread. So once I've whipped my butter and my two thirds cup of granulated sugar, I had two eggs at room temperature and I whisked my eggs first and then I added them to my butter and to the granulated sugar. And I'm going to be whipping the egg into the granulated sugar and the butter until it's a really nice pale yellow color. Exactly what you're seeing here, that's what you want to be looking for when you're making your bread. Next, I'm going to add in some vanilla and I'm going to be putting in 
one and a half teaspoons of my pure vanilla extract. This is going to give the bread a really nice taste with the vanilla and with the cinnamon that's going to be in there with our sugar. And so it just gives the bread a really good flavor. Now, if you really like vanilla, you can also boost that up and put two teaspoons if you like in the description box below. I will have that alternative if you want to add a little extra vanilla to your apple cinnamon bread. And this is what you want the consistency to look like at this point, just like that. Now we're going to take the dry ingredients that we had and we're going to add them to our ingredients that we had put together that are already nice and moist. So I add in half the flour that I have and the half of flour, which was one and a half cups of flour. We add our leveling, which was one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And we also have the fourth a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm gonna add our milk and you can use either whole milk or either 2% milk. Today I'm using 2% milk and I'm using half a cup of milk. So I put in a half a cup of milk and also with my eggs, uh, I have my eggs at room temperature and when you're making um, batter and dough and you're using eggs, you always want to make sure that you have them at room temperature. And so I added the milk and then once I added the milk in and I kind of got it going a bit, then I add the other 50% of my dry ingredients. Now while I'm doing this, I do have my oven and my oven is preheating on 350 degrees and we're going to be baking our apple cinnamon bread in a nice loaf pan. Now once I've gone on and I put that other 50% of the flour, go on and you want to be kind of gentle because uh, if you're too rough with your batter, your um, apple bread could come out kind of tough. It'll still be good, but it'll be a little tough. And so you want to be gentle when you're mixing in that um, last part of the flour. Now I have my nine by five uh, loaf pan. I have my nonstick spray that I like to do, use here, my baking spray. And you you want to make sure that you want to spray the sides very well. The reason being is we're going to be doing layers of our batter, the apples, and the cinnamon. And if it's not sprayed well, what will end up tending to happen is when it's time to take your loaf out or apple cinnamon loaf out, the sides might stick a little bit and separate. You don't want that. So to avoid that, be sure that you spray the sides very liberally. Okay. So I put in 50% of the batter and then I just use my spatula and I want to make sure that I'm spreading from end to end. Now, another quick bread that I also have on my channel is my banana bread, and I also have a chocolate banana bread. In the description box below, I will have a link to my chocolate banana bread and my traditional banana bread. I'll have that in the description box below for y'all. So now we're going to be using our apples. And so I'm going to put half the apples. After I've put in um, half of the batter, we're going to go on and layer. And we're going to put in half of our apples, just like I'm doing there. And just kind of try to spread them out as evenly as possible. Now, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to show us some love and go on and give it a thumbs up. So once I have my apples in there, I'm going to put in half of our brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. And just go on and sprinkle it all over the top of the apples. So we did the batter, then the apples, then the brown sugar and the cinnamon, just like that. Now, even with us putting the brown sugar in layers with the cinnamon, the this bread, the apple cinnamon bread, is actually not a very sweet bread. And so, and typically, most uh, quick breads are not really very sweet. They have sweetness to them, but they're not as sweet as, say, like a cake would be. And so, that is really nice because you do get that nice balance of the flavor with a little bit of the sweetness as well. And so, this is a nice balance. Even with that brown sugar in there, it's just going to just melt and become one with the bread. It's going to be so tasty y'all. So this is what it's looking like so far and we're going to go on and repeat those layers. We're going to put down the rest of our apples and for the holiday season this is a great bread to bake up as gifts and give to your neighbors, your family, your friends, your co-workers, people that are in your life and it doesn't take a lot of ingredients and it comes together really nicely and so when you package it up and you put a nice little bow on it and you put it in cellophane this makes a wonderful gift to give to people during the holiday season. And you see how when I put the uh, last layer of apples right there, how I use the back of my measuring spoon and I just kind of tucked and pushed down a little bit. You want to make sure you do that. You want to kind of just, just nestle those apples into the batter and just kind of use the back of your spoon. 
Well, our apple cinnamon bread is ready for the oven. We're going to go on and put it in the oven and it's going to bake in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes. Well, our bread is out of the oven, y'all. It is smelling so good in here. The cinnamon, those apples that have baked in there. This is what our bread is looking like. I'm going to let this cool in the pan for about 30 minutes. I want it nice and cooled before we try to turn it out. So it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to go on around the sides and make sure that it's all nice and loosened up. That is very important. You wanna make sure, and I just kinda, when I'm loosening up my breads, anytime I'm taking them out of my pan, I kinda like, when I take the knife down, I also kinda like tuck underneath just to start to loosen it up from the edges as well. And then I just kinda shake it a little bit. Now with our brown sugar topping, a little bit's gonna come off when we flip it, but that's okay because it's still gonna be so good when we have it and so go on and loosen and shake it just like I did and then you see how it comes out nice and clean and that is from going around the edges shaking it a bit and also making sure that you let it cool efficiently before you try to take it out well let's go on and give ourselves a piece of this apple cinnamon bread and it is just time for us to enjoy our little slice of fall right here y'all let's let me go get a plate for us Let's see how we did. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Wow. Do you see the little pieces of apple in there? Do you see that right there? Go ahead and take your bite. That bite's for you. Let me take my bite. Mm-hmm. You guys, this is so good. Oh my. You can make this and give it to family and friends. It would make a wonderful gift. Well, that is it for me today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today in my kitchen. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can come back and visit me again. And click share and share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.